Hi guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how you can make different jewelry and it's actually anthropology inspired. So I looked at their website and they had so many cute things for summer so I like naturally wanted to buy all of them and I decided to take some of their ideas as inspiration. So one of the bracelets they had was like a knit kind of knotted bracelet and it had some other like metal tones to it so I decided to make one of them for you guys. Um, but they also had this really cool like flower or sunshine or snowflake kind of looking beaded thing. Not really sure how to describe it but you'll see and they're actually wearing it right now so I think it's really really cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and you really like the better quality and such so without further ado we can just hop right into the tutorial. So to make the bracelet you're going to want to take a piece of string and just wrap it around your wrist a few times to find a measurement and after that measure a few or more strings equal to the original length. And then after that you can go ahead and tie them in a knot at the very top. Then I'm just going to suggest taking a piece of tape and securing them to the surface that you're working on just to have everything secured. And then just separate the string you want to be on the outside and create a 4 over top of the other strings and then pull the end through the loop that you have created underneath of the other strings. And then you're going to want to create this knot a few more times until you have started off your bracelet. So after you have done that a few times, take a needle and just thread your string through that and then you can go ahead and use this to attach any beads that you would like. So after you have your beads on there, just continue knotting and after you have attached a bead, you want to make a really really strong and secure knot so that it doesn't come loose. Then I'm just going to repeat all of these steps until I have the length of the bracelet that I would like. So afterwards I'm going to take a piece of elastic and just attach that to one end and trim off any excess and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other end, just attaching it and trimming off any excess. So for the next project, we're going to make a beaded pendant. So for this, attach a small, a large, and another small bead onto a head pin. After that, you can lay it down and adjust any beads that you would like to fill around the outside. Then I'm just going to take some hot glue and attach each of these beads around the larger bead in the center. So when you're finished with that, you can take some pliers and just make a loop at the top of your pendant. And then with any extra wire from that, you can just wrap that around the base of the loop. With this loop, you'll be able to slide through a jump ring. And then you can close up this jump ring and use it to attach it to any chain that you have to make your necklace. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below and tell me what your thoughts are on my new camera because I don't know, I'm excited to be able to like give you guys really good quality. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I will see you guys next week. So until then, have a great rest of the week, guys. Bye!